What's up YouTube? This video is going to be for Robin Karangi. I think that's your username. At least I know your first your first part of your username is Robin. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the last part right. However, he mentioned to me in the comments he was from Singapore and he was going to be getting an armor Zippo. And he wanted my advice on whether to get a chrome or brass, I think. I'm pretty sure, yeah. And so I wanted to just go ahead, because I, I just pretty much was like, oh, you should just go for the brass. However, I kind of felt that I should maybe make a video comparing the two well-used and not very much used that way he can make the determination for himself after watching this video which one he wants to get. Now these two, this is the high polished chrome that I have and I'm going to try to get it to focus so that way he can see. As you can see it is very scratched. It also has dents in it, well one dent, where I fell, I had it in my pocket and I tripped in the driveway where I used to live back in Virginia and I fell, but you really can't see it. It's, it's that corner. But you really can't see it anymore because of all the scratches that are in the Zippo, kind of blended it in. But as you can see, this is what you will expect. I've used this thing for about a year and a half, two years now, total. And this is what a high polish chrome armor will look like after you use it for quite a bit now this is what one might look like because i thought i had lost this guys i thought that i would have never seen this again and that it was gone but i wound up finding it it had fallen behind a desk and was underneath a bunch of papers behind a desk that's where this one was so i wound up finding it this is what one will look like if you don't use it much. If I can get this crap out of the way. As you can see, there's still scratches. However, it's not quite as bad yet as this one, but it will get there. And I didn't polish that side, but you can pretty much see, I mean, pretty much with chrome, and it's the same with the regular brass and regular chrome, chrome winds up just picking up a bunch of scratches. And I mean, to me, the scratches do look kind of nice. However, I kind of prefer the tarnished look of a brass. This was my long lost 2012 high polish brass armor. And by the way, this one I am actually giving to a friend up here in Boone, so... That's why I have it in a box, but these two brass armors, I'm not giving either one of them away just because this one is very sentimental to me, and that's why I decided to get another one to use. But anyway, as you can see, I have beaten the absolute shit out of this lighter carrying it, and this I had only used for about a year and a half before losing. A year and a half, two years, and then I wound up losing this one back at the old house where I used to live in Virginia, under the bed, fell under there, went all the way up against the wall, and kind of, like, it was in a way to where, like, even when I was looking under there, because I looked under there several times with a flashlight, and I couldn't see it. And the reason why I couldn't see it was because it was actually in a box under there, so I didn't ever even know it was in that box until I moved. I picked the box up, and I was like, it feels like there's something in there, and then I opened it, and sure enough, this sucker was in there, and I was like, damn, I thought I would never see the Zippo again, much like this one. However, this one I hadn't seen in like literally three years, so I'm very fortunate to have it back, but as you can see, I have polished it a couple times since using it. If you don't polish it, it probably won't look like this. Now, I have been playing with it. Now this one does need to be sent to Zippo or I can attempt to fix the hinge, however, as you can see, that hinge is ridiculously loose and that is one thing, Robin, you'll have to be ready to deal with and account for is these hinges will wear out extremely fast on an armor Zippo. And this is what one will look like 
in here I'll show you as well kind of some of the top as well this one's kind of disformed because this is where I, it fell out of my pocket while I was riding my bike down the road and it actually landed on the freaking pavement and put that lovely gash and dent in the lid tiny dent it's not, it's not really a dent it's just a ding but it kind of misshapen it a little bit okay so go ahead and get those out of the way now this is the one I've been carrying now as you can see it's filled this is what I've been using to smoke and white cigarettes and whatnot this one is in a lot better shape as of right now however it has started to tarnish quite decently as you can see I don't know if you can see that come on focus uh, you don't want to focus, do you? There we go. Up there. That's where it's starting to get some weird tarnishing going on. And honestly, I kind of like that. Like, I'm not going to lie. I don't mind the weird tarnish that you get on a brass Zippo. Because all you have to do is you can use what Zippo Fanatic does. And use polishing compound and just take it right back to brand new. Or you can just use Barkeepers around it, which is what I do. Because I don't have a polishing buffing wheel up here yet however i do have one in virginia and i might try to get that up here at some point and get buffing wheels put or put buffing wheels on it so that way i can you know do the pretty much what he's doing here and polish it up to a mere finish because that would look really cool but i mean to be honest i don't really need these lighters to be mirror finish anymore especially the brass ones just because i mean i'm just going to use them and keep using them but, so that's pretty much it as far as a comparison goes. This one does look shinier. Again, that's because I have polished it prior. Because once I found this thing, I mean, it was like black under there because it had sat for so long with no one touching it. Just like my original fingerprints from where I was messing with it before I lost it. And then it was under there for three years. So that's why I polished it up. But anyway, so I hope this video helps Robin, and I will see you guys in the next video.